happened to you? Are you okay? No, no, I'm okay. I'm perfectly all right. Just a little uh, detention, that's all. Oh, you realize you're a hero around here? Everybody's been talking about Pearl because you helped them. Shh. They better be talking about Leonard. Leonard Kupnick, or else I'm going to end up in permanent isolation. I spent last night there, and let me tell you, the accommodations, they are not very accommodating. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to call you that. I just I forgot. Mm, it's okay. Just next time, don't forget. They said Dr. Rawlings came back this morning and he was furious when he saw what happened. Uh, I figured he would be. I wonder if he's seen the wall yet. Uh, I don't think he's seen that, but if he does... Uh, I didn't mean to cause all you guys so much trouble. I just got carried away, you know? Maybe I can fix it so that I'm the only one that doesn't get punished. The name isn't Kupnik, madam. It's Roosevelt. And I'll thank you to move. You're blocking Eleanor's view. I don't believe this. Well, Mr. Kupnik, we've been waiting for you. Good morning, Henry. Looks like the Japanese caught us with our pants down again. It looks like you had yourself quite a time here last night. Eleanor and I had a few friends in to celebrate Independence Day. So it seems, and you broke quite a few rules while I was away. And I'm afraid your friends are going to discover that sharing in your crime means sharing in your punishment, too. And then Grant left town without even so much as a backward glance. Might at least have said goodbye. Isn't that strange? At least it was a setback. Well, I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. The Lockridges could fight CC much better by themselves. Mm -hmm. That is, assuming they can get a quorum together. Where are Minx and Brick? Minx went to the Springs, and I haven't been able to get Brick on the phone. I don't understand it. They both have a greater stake in getting back the family fortune than I do, and I'm not even considered a Lockridge anymore. That's just a legal technicality. All you have to do is remarry me. I never consider a marriage proposal all over breakfast. Try me at lunch. I will. Besides, I want you to marry me again for more than one reason. What's the second one? You haven't asked me the first one yet. I know what the first is. What's the second? <laughs> all right, all right. You're, you're much better at strategy than I am. I need you in my fight against CC. You know that I'm always in your corner, even if we're not married. I'm still going to try again at lunch. Mr. Lockridge, hmm? I was asked to bring this to you. Oh. You don't go to a council of war at the enemy's camp. Come to the bar alone. <laughs> I might have guessed. I didn't even know the word please. Dr. McCormick is here all right. Good. Go ahead. No, um, wait till he pays his check and then make your move. Thanks. Still here? I thought you wanted to get an early start today. Yeah, I did. I hate to break it to you, but it's too late for an early start. Well, actually, the business that I had to take care of went a little smoother than I had planned. And a little quicker, too. Hmm. Nice. Yes, indeed. Dr. McCormick? Yes? Detective Fuller, Santa Barbara Police. I have a warrant for your arrest. What for? For the rape of Mary McCormick. Uh, Julia. Julia, thank heavens, I need to talk to you. Mark, what's wrong? I'm being arrested. What? Mary's filing charges against me. You have to help me. I don't have anybody else to turn to. Michael, huh? don't you dare go running over to that man. I'm not running. I'm walking slowly, quietly, and with great dignity. Then I'm going with you. No, you're not. You're going to stay here. Card says come alone. Obviously, he does not want you part of this. Of course he doesn't, but I'm not going to be shut out. Stay here. This is business, not a social occasion. Fine. Go on then, but I am not going to stay put. I'm leaving. Oh, there you are. I, I didn't know you were here. I can't stay for breakfast. We're going to have to have lunch together. Good grief. I'd forgotten we were supposed to have breakfast. And now you're telling me you can't make it? I'd like to know why. Well, I just sort of walked in here and picked up a client. Well, I don't really think it's a very good idea to pick up clients in bars. Better than waiting till they're behind them. I'm serious. So am I. 
From now on, I'm a hired gun. I don't care who I represent as long as they can afford my fees. Well, I find that a very sad state of affairs, but there should be some selection. I mean, you just don't go picking up strangers. Oh, he's not a stranger. In fact, you know him, too. It's Mark McCormick. Can we get directly to what this is all about? I don't have a lot of time to waste. Huh? Oh, Lyle, you still cling to the conceit that your time is valuable. You must remember that a bankrupt man has nothing but time to spare. So why don't you be generous with your time? I see that this is going to drag out. Will you wake me uh, when you get to the point? I'm coming directly to the point. This conversation has to do with your criminal family and all the plans I have for it. So why don't you just pay attention? Hmm? I'm doing my best. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. See, ever since David's uh, acquittal, I've been trying to come up with a motive for Madeline's demise and a likely suspect to boot. I think I have the answer to both those questions. Well, I'm sure the police will be glad to know. You and Madeline and Grant, you tried to take all my money, didn't you? Well, you thought you could, but naturally you underestimated me as usual. I haven't given up hope. No, but you lost one of your main supporters and prime accomplices when Madeline pulled out. Now, Grant has withdrawn also, but back then, you were really blown away by the fact that you lost your staunchest ally. I think I know the reason for her backing out, too. Do you, really? Yes, I really do. I think she realized that your scheme had nothing but holes in it. Wouldn't hold water. Probably the reason she got murdered. Maybe even by you. You cannot be serious. Mark McCormick is an accused rapist. I know. Rape. It's a heinous crime. I don't think that there are too many nice crimes, either. It's monstrous. You can't defend him. You didn't object before when I was defending pimps and junkies and what have you. Go on and stop when you get to men who've been accused of killing their wives. Look, don't drag David into this discussion, please. He has nothing to do with why, what I'm representing Mark McCormick. Well, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Until you were hurt so badly, you wouldn't have even considered defending a rapist. Accused rapist. There's still a presumption of innocence in this country. Look, I am I'm not committed to doing anything yet until I know all the facts. All I know is that a man is entitled to a, to a fair trial. Oh, I think he deserves a fair trial in front of a firing squad. You don't need any facts at all to make up your mind, do you? In fact, they'll probably get in your way. You don't even know who he's accused of raping. All right. Who? His wife. But Mason is the chief accuser. So I think there's a good possibility that Mark might be innocent. I had no idea you'd be this upset about this. Well, me. then you don't know me very well, do you? I just, I, I can't believe it. What was so hard to believe? What, that you'd go after Mark without a word to me? I thought I was the one who was raped. You were. That's why I'm doing this for you. For me. You're going to get revenge for me. You're much too kind-hearted to understand both sides of the question. Mark has to be made to pay for what he did. I don't even think that's possible, Mason. And you really think you have enough evidence to convict him? Obviously, I do. I wouldn't have started the wheels turning. Yeah, well, those wheels are going to roll over all of us. All right, what, what is this evidence? What, what do you have? Well, besides yours, I have Mother Isabel's testimony. Of your emotional state immediately following the Oh, act. never mind. I don't want to hear this. What I would like to hear is, is how you could be so insensitive to me. I beg your pardon? Mason, don't you realize what you're going to be doing to me by doing this, Mark? You're going to be putting my private life on display. You're, they're going to drag out every intimate detail of my marriage in public. Well, there will be a lot of publicity. Yeah, there will be. I want you to drop the charges. I, I want you to just put this to rest. Mary, we can't let him get away with this. Don't you want to see him punished? Yeah, but I don't want to be punished along with him. That's what's going to happen, Mason. No. No, you want to go to court with Mark? Fine, do it without me. I'm not going to testify against him. And then there's... Nurse Gaynor's coffee by person or persons unknown. Drugged? She was drugged? I certainly was. I still have a headache. Added to that, we have the smuggling in of the decorations and the ice cream. And last but not least, there's a little matter of the paint balloons being thrown against that wall. All in all, a very destructive evening, I'd say. What would you say, Mr. Kupnick? The name size Roosevelt and I plead no contest to the charges. Naturally, I would have preferred using real firecrackers. But on the whole, I think the paint proved to be a satisfactory substitute. That wall now stands as a living memorial 
to the brave Americans that declared their independence from tyranny, oppression, and party poopers. This eyesore that you call a memorial will be obliterated by late afternoon. The maintenance men are rounding up paint and paintbrushes at this very moment. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Rollins. Oh, well. Is that right, Mr. Company? Well, perhaps you're more violent than I thought. Do you have any other threats you'd like to make? No, no, sir. I simply meant that covering up that wall will not change American history. That's something that lives in the hearts and minds of the people, and it can never be obliterated. Nurse, please escort Mr. Kupnick to my office. I think he and I need to have a private session now. As for the rest of you, your collective misbehavior is going to work against you. Because of all of this damage, I'm going to have to order certain changes in your privileges. The usual ones will have to be curtailed yeah. and... The I thank you, one and all, for your support. You are truly loyal friends. Today is the beginning of a new day, a new deal. Long live liberty. And remember, we have nothing to fear, but fear itself. Please take him out of here. Sorry if I hurt you. There's no point in apologizing. You're always sorry. You always keep doing it. Doing what? Anything, whatever it is. No, I don't. Yes, you do. And then when it's too late, you say you're sorry. I usually am. Yeah, but that's supposed to make everything all right. If apologizing doesn't, what will? You know, to tell you the truth, I don't really understand why you didn't demand justice a long time ago. Or why you aren't now. Is it some kind of residual affection for Mark? No, it's nothing like that. Then what is it? There's only one other explanation that I can come up with. That's the baby. You're still afraid it may be Mark's. So. I told you I'd accept the baby no matter who the father was. I always think of it as ours. So am I, Mason. So why, why does anyone else have to know about all this? Isn't there enough difficulty? Because we have to protect the baby from Mark, even if it is his. Especially if it's his. And the best way to do that is to make sure that he doesn't stand a prayer of getting custody. Not to mention the fact that he's committed a criminal act. We're the only ones in a position to see that he pays for that. I don't need to see him pay for it. Look, w whether you believe it or not, I'm not out to get Mark at all costs. Don't you understand that? I honestly believe that he poses a very real threat to us and to the baby's future. I'm just trying to protect us from that. I love you, Mary. And I love the baby. I just want to keep us safe. I just wish there were some other way. I know. So do I, but there isn't. We have to follow through with this. So you have to try to be strong. This isn't vengeance we're after. It's justice. All right, Mark. I have posted bail, so you're free to leave. Oh, thank you. Oh, would you tell me what I'm supposed to do next? After all, that's what I'm paying you for, right, Counsel? Well, I'm not your lawyer, Mark. Not yet. I just thought I'd help you out. In an emergency, I'm going to need more information from you if I decide to take on your case. I'll tell you everything. Oh, uh, one word of caution. If I find out that you've lied or withheld any information, I won't even consider defending you. I have nothing to hide. Besides, you're a friend. I wouldn't do that to you. Mary's also a friend. I understand. 
But I'll tell you everything you want to know. Good. All right, let's get right to the point. Did you ever, before or after your marriage, subject Mary to forced sex? Did you rape her? Julia, in the whole time that Mary and I have known each other, we've had sex exactly one time. And that was by mutual consent. And I give you my solemn word. Постой, постой. Мне кажется, ты сам не очень доверишь в то, что состряпал, будто я убил Мадлен. Лайнел, сестра твоей жены высказала эту мысль на процессе. Тебя спасло лишь лжесвидетельствование. I can't believe this. There's so much hatred in you for me and my family that you would pin a false murder charge on me? Lionel, this is like a party game to me. You see, pin the murder rap on the donkey. If you're not guilty, you've got nothing to worry about. You can live the rest of your life, such as it is, as the best you can. Now, it won't be very pleasant, because you must always remember that you and I are still at war. And as Napoleon once said, God is on the side of the strongest army. Might have known you'd quote Napoleon. You Napoleon? I'm Wellington. You want to fight, you've got it. Just what do you got to fight with? It's down to you and Minx. It's a shame your children happen to be casualties, that's all. I, mean, I haven't forgotten what you did to Warren. I didn't do anything to Warren. He did that to himself. You could have helped him, and you didn't. And if it takes the rest of my life, I'll pay you back for that. It may take you the rest of your life, Lionel. I've left you very little room to maneuver with. Don't count on it. And it's all that war you want, huh? Okay, you will live with the knowledge that you're the one who dragged our children into this. Which makes Eden, Mason, and Ted fair game. What are you doing, nurse? Oh, uh, I was just going to put this file away, doctor. I'll take those. The patient's files are off limits to everyone except me. Is that clear? I'm sorry, I didn't mean any harm. And Mr. Kupnick should not be looking at the inkblot tests either. I didn't realize that he was. Please put those down until we're ready to begin. I'm sorry, Henry, I thought these were budgetary proposals. You may go, nurse. I'm glad Eleanor is leaving. Traveling becomes her. She should do more and more of it, don't you think, Doctor? Well, Mr. Kupnick, let's address ourselves to the Rorschachs now, shall we? Yes, of course. I want you to look at the ink blots and tell me what you see in them. What the pictures represent, in your opinion, and I want your first impressions as quickly as they come to you. Well, that's the Supreme Court. All nine judges. Very good likenesses, too, wouldn't you say? And this one? Somewhat more difficult. It seems to be a national system of retirement and relief benefits. Why, it's revolutionary. It's social security. Well, now, that one, Doc, that has me stumped. Never mind, we needn't continue. <clears throat> I beg your pardon, Doctor. You're free to go back to the day room now, if you like. But I thought today was meant to be a long session. I was looking forward to reliving my boyhood summers in Campobello. Perhaps another time. Well, all right, Doc, if you insist. Now that you're out of restraints, why don't you get out of the wheelchair? Doctor? I don't believe you realize the cause of my confinement. In this chair? You've been very fortunate. During the night, we examined your x-rays and we find that your polio has completely cleared up. Mr. President, you can walk now. I can? Well, well. Isn't medical science remarkable? All right, Doc. I can walk. Yes, I know. Ask Nurse Gaynor to come in, please. Yes, of course, but first I must find Fala. Ruff, ruff! Here, boy! Here! 
Hello? Close the door, please. How did he do? He responded completely in the persona of the president he's pretending to be. But that's not the behavior of a schizophrenic personality at all? No. It means he's either over the edge or completely sane and pretending the whole thing. <laughs> Mr. Kupnik is quite a puzzle, isn't he? <laughs> you know, none of this ever would have happened if it wasn't for Mason. I really believe that Mary still loves me as much as I love her. But he is constantly at her. It's like he's trying to poison her mind against me or something. He, he is. He was always bound and determined to break us up. I think what he did at the convent. You know, he actually broke in just to steal her away and seduce her. From a nunnery. I, she goes up there to think and to pray for guidance. And she comes back and she tells me that she's had an affair with Mason. That's the kind of incredible hold he has over. And, and you know what else? No, what? He's actually trying to convince her that I couldn't possibly be the father of her baby. I think that hurts more than anything else. As much as I love Mary, she's free to do whatever she wants. If she feels she has to leave me, what am I going to do? But a child is another matter. And I'd never forgive myself if I thought Mason Kappel was raising my baby. Now, you see how much I need someone like you on my side. There is no way that they're going to be able to make a rape charge stick. But I know Mason, and he'll try and use that in court to blacken my reputation. Now, unless I have somebody strong like you to help me, he could destroy my whole practice. He could make it impossible for me to get custody of my child. Let alone even visitation rights. Look, I don't know what else to tell you. Well, that's all right. Because I've already made a decision. I've heard you toasted bail for this obscenity, but I didn't think even you were capable of judgment that bad. Mark. Would you mind waiting outside while Mason and I discuss this? Sure, just don't let his lies convince you. Please, Mark. Drop him, Julia. Defending scum like that isn't worth the satisfaction of getting back at me. This may come as a great shock to you, Mason, but I don't generally have you in mind when I decide to take on a client. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. The people you decide to take on have to meet very exacting requirements, don't they? Well, trust me, Julia, this one isn't worth sleeping with. Hey, sports fans! Look who's back in town! You're all right! Sure, I'm all right. What do you think? Well, I wasn't sure Dr. Rawlings got so angry. Ah, I just had a few of the old bamboo shoots under the fingernails, that's about all. Alice, how you doing? Huh? It's okay, you don't have to say anything. You did enough talking as it was already today. Uh-huh. I'm real proud of you for the way you brought her out of her shell. Eh, I just hope I helped her out a little bit. Now, what about you? You know, shells are my specialty. Love to collect them. Why don't you give me yours? What's the matter? You seem a little down. Am I right? Oh, no. When all the excitement of the party was going on, it was different. I didn't have time to think, and I know, I know I do, and I get depressed. Now, don't be. Yeah, wait a second. Let me take a look here. Uh-huh. You've been taking your medication, haven't you? Yes, and it makes me tired. Yeah, of course it does. It's been known to slow down charging rhinos. You know, I don't know how you get away without taking yours. So the nurses watch us like hawks around here. Yeah, I've got tricks in my pocket, things up my sleeve. Yeah, I know you do. I wish I understood you better, Pearl. Every time I see you, you're somebody different, or somebody with a different personality or a different name. Mm, what's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Whatever you call me, I'll still be your friend. 
Even when you're the president? Hey, even when I'm the king. Though the gilded crown sits o'er my brow, it shall now rule my heart. Even when I'm Nixon. <laughs> hey, you smiled, yeah? You do remember something, don't you? Huh? I do remember. Yeah, uh -huh. I wonder how much else. I don't know. Oh, come on over here. Let's work on your memory today. No, okay? Pearl, I don't want to do that. Yeah, come I on, know. come on, come on. Sit down. It's going to be fun. Relax, sweetie. We're going to make a game out of this. Trust me, all right? I'm very good at it. I don't believe you. I had to sue you for assault and battery. Go ahead. I'll sue you for slander. All right. I admit my remark may have been tactless. <laughs> tactless. It was vicious, Mason. Maybe it was. This hurts me deeply, but I apologize. I do. You know, you you don't know when to stop. You always go way too far. Yeah, well, I guess I did this time. Anyway, I said I was sorry. You forgive me? Maybe. Good. Then can I ask a favor of you? No. You don't know what I want yet. It has to do with Mark, whatever he's been telling you. What? Before you get any more involved with this case, I want you to hear Mary's side of the story. Mason, it's not my responsibility to hear it Mary. It won't take long, Julia. She's waiting right down the hall. I brought her with me, luckily. It's premature. Julia, I think you owe it to yourself to hear both sides of this story. I don't recall owing you any favors. It's a matter of fairness, and it's not for me personally. All right. I will listen to her, but I'm only doing it for Mary. I'm not doing it for you. Thanks. I don't like it. All this talk about open warfare. Won't he ever be satisfied? What more can he do to us? I'm more concerned with what I'm going to do to him, and he better be concerned about it, too. Because he's got a lot more to lose than we have. That's true. He's got our house, our land, our principal holdings. He's even got your precious art collection. <laughs> That's right. I'd forgotten about that. You forgot about it? You worshipped those paintings. Yeah, yeah, I did. That's right. Of course, it's uh, not something I should be smiling about, is it? Wait a minute. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Nothing. I, I was just thinking about the high price that he paid for it. That's true. He certainly got his money's worth, maybe more. Those paintings will probably triple themselves in the next 20 years. Maybe. Maybe not. You never know. Life is long and art is fleeting. I think you got that backwards. Well, you got something backwards. You shouldn't have a smile on your face. You should have a frown. Well, you know me, Augusta. I always try to find a silver lining in every cloud. No, I never knew that about you. When did that start? Your tab, Mr. Lockridge. Oh, thank you, Jerry. I have a pen. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. It'll have to be in cash. What? Your credit has been discontinued. All right, let me take a look at that. A little bit bigger. Yeah, I think that's fine. Put it up on the roof. Should be seen all over the city. That's good. Put it up. Not so fast, E.C. You're not going to have a last word today or any other day. I wish you wouldn't do that. Look at, look at that mug. I'm not very drawable, uh, photogenic or whatever you yes, say. Yes, you are. Now, come on. Oh. I want to get a sketch of the real you, Pearl. Yeah. Okay, if you insist. Uh, How's that? No, it was terrible. Just relax and be yourself. This better? Worse. Now, come on. Cooperate, Pearl. You can talk while you're doing this anyway. Tell, tell, tell me why you're here. Maybe that'll help you relax. Well, uh, I'm here, Ted, because I'm out drumming up uh, grassroots for re-election time. Come on, Pearl, come on. I really want to know why you're here. I know you don't belong here with the rest of us. Neither do you, kid. There's a big difference, and you know it. Now, can't you open up with me a little bit now? Please? Well, you see, the real reason is it's kind of complicated. Well, that's all right. But I can understand. Uh -huh. it, it's got partly to do with you and partly to do with somebody that I I wanted to help a long time ago. Who's that? My brother. Get away from me, Lila. Stay away from me, both of you. All I want is a brief moment of your time, CC. One of the few things that you've been generous with. Not for me, you won't. Not one more word. I've said enough for the day. Well, 
I don't think that you ought to risk provoking me, Cece, but not before I make up my mind, right, Augusta? Ah, uh, yes, I think that would be very unwise. Make up your mind about what? About which one of your children I'm going to go after first. I'm warning you, Lionel. The children are off limits. Really? Mine weren't. You don't think we're going to forget what you did to Warren? I didn't do anything to Warren. He did it to himself, along with the help you two gave him in raising him. Well, you haven't been too successful in your, raising your own children, have you? At least Warren is getting help. Whereas your children, past and present, seem to be incurable. What are you, Lionel? Shut up about them. I got your goat, did I? Well, now the question is, what do I do with it? By the way, have you had a conversation with Mason lately? About what? I just thought you'd like to know about some negotiations that I have had with him. It's quite an earful. And that's all I have to say to you. Come on, Augusta. War, Lionel. Total war. All you were going to say to him? That's it. Well, forgive me, but I don't see that you accomplished anything. Threatening his children's life is a little beneath you. I mean, Lionel, I know you weren't serious, but... Oh, I was serious, all right. And he's going to find out just how serious. Lionel, I don't like this at all. Whatever happened to your ethics? <sighs> I used to have some. But Cece violated them. Now it's my turn. What was all that about Mason? If you swear to never reveal it, I'll tell it to you. Reveal what? I swear. For heaven's sakes, I swear. I try to remember. It was referring to the help that Mason gave me in the negotiations on the paintings. At selling the collection to CC. What are you talking about? Mason represented me in that transaction, didn't he? Wait a minute. What did you pull? The coup of the century. Up to now, Mason and I were the only ones who knew that the entire collection sold to CC was comprised of forgery. What are you talking about? You mean that all those paintings that were in the divorce settlement were frauds? Yep. You crook! You sold these forgeries? I begged you not to take them. If you remember, I tried like heck not to get you stung. And Mason knew all the time that they were forgeries? Yeah. He, he had an independent appraiser. Checked the whole collection. And then he went ahead and helped me sell his own father those paintings? <laughs> With glory in his heart. CC paid you a fortune for trash. <laughs> and it's a good thing, too. But you can pay this bar bill. The nightmares, the, uh, the shakes. You know, I could still feel the, the touch of his hands on me. I should have known what Mark was capable of. I, I should have known how his mind works. But at the time, I was so confused and so scared. And I, I fought him at first. I really did. But I, and I just, I, I was frightened and I stopped. And then afterwards, he just pretended that everything was natural. Um, Mary, why didn't, why didn't you tell somebody sooner? I was confused. I, I was frightened. I, um, I didn't want anybody to know. I was afraid of what Mason would do if he knew that he would do something terrible. I would have. And then also I felt like somehow it was partly my fault. What about now? How do you feel now? No, what happened was solely Mark's responsibility. I know that. So does he, whether he's willing to admit it or not. Well, he isn't. Tell me something. Um, how do you feel about, about going into the courtroom and facing him? I just hate it. I hate it. I'm terrified of it. But he's threatened to sue for custody of this baby, and I feel like I don't have any choice. Like, I, I have to fight him this way. I am so sorry for everything that you've been put through. Believe me, I'm very sorry. Then don't handle this case. He doesn't deserve a lawyer, much less one as good as you are. Julia, whatever you decide, thanks a lot for listening to me. Thank you, Mary. You ready? Yes. Mason, uh, could I talk to you, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll catch up to you. Okay. Mason, you know that you have a weak case, don't you? You heard Mary. I heard Mary. 
and I believe her. Nevertheless, you've got a weak case. I don't care. We're going to win. Send him right in, will you? Thank you. Well, you've heard Mary's side of the story, I take it. Yes. Well, what did you think? Your stories vary considerably. Well, I don't see how that should surprise you. I mean, you have to consider the position Mary's in. She has to lie. She has to cry rape. Otherwise, her precious Mason is going to think that she voluntarily slept with another man. And then he's going to look at her as soiled goods. Now, I don't know what she said to you in here, but I tell you now. She wanted it as much as I did. Now, I know she's not going to admit it now because she feels a lot of anger and resentment towards me today, but that night, in that bed, she was all over me like a rash. Thank you. Mark, uh, you don't really need to tell me anymore. So, does that mean I have a lawyer or I have to go somewhere else? Yes. Yes, you've got yourself a lawyer. I'll, I'll be glad to take on your case. Hi. Привет, что ты тут делаешь? Where are we hiding from? I'm afraid Rollins is catching on to me. And before he does that, I want to get the proof that I need. Well, where do you think you're going to find that? In Rollins locked patients' files. Uh huh. All I need to do is figure out how to get into them. I don't understand. What, what, what is it you, you're going to get from that? Okay, uh, do you remember when I told you about my brother? Yeah. Do you remember that? But what does your brother have to do with Dr. Rollins, Pearl? Okay, well, that's the part that, that's the part that I left off at. Now, my brother Brian was stuck in a place like this a long time ago, a place where he didn't belong. The only difference was he couldn't get any help from anybody. The only person he had to turn to was a certain Dr. Rollins. This Dr. Rollins? You got it. Earl, what happened to him? Well, we can go into that a little bit later on. Right now, I want you to promise me that you'll help on this plan I have. You help with what? It takes two people to help it dangle. All right, what is it? I want to break into Rollins' files tonight. I want to get a good look at what's going on. Well, this is an unexpected something. Pleasure, I hope. I certainly hope it's a pleasure. May I come in? Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Hello, Mary. Hello, Hello. Cece. Uh, would you excuse me? I'll let you two talk by yourself. She all right? She seems to be troubled. Yeah, she just had kind of a tiring day. Have a, have a seat. Thank you. Is this uh, strictly a social visit, or do you have some... Particular reason for gracing our... I have a vote. particular reason. I was talking to Lionel Lockridge at the restaurant, and he made some allusions to something about you. I thought I'd check it with you. Oh, Dad, we're going to compare notes on Lionel. I'd just soon you do it with somebody else. I'm not in the mood for family feuds today. Something is wrong between you and Mary both. Yeah, something is, but I'd rather not get into it, if you don't mind. Mason, I am concerned. If it is something more than an argument, maybe I can help. Yeah, it's more than an argument, Dad, but there's nothing you can do. Why don't you try me and see? Mary was raped by Mark. What? It was a month ago. The last night they were together in the guest house. So if you've been wondering why we're not getting an annulment, now you know we can't. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Mason. I want to prosecute, but Mary's not too keen on the idea. Well, we've been going round and round about it. She finally agreed, but she's not at all happy about it. God, what a monster he turned out to be. Is there anything I can do, anything at all to help? <sighs> Thanks for the offer, but I think the best thing you can do is just leave us alone for a little while. We've got a lot to talk about. Fine, fine. Uh, let me know if there's anything that I can... Uh... Yeah, I will. Yeah.
Mary is gone. I hope he didn't think I was rude. No, I explained the situation to him. He wanted me to give you his regards. Still angry with me? A little bit. I don't want to talk about it, though. Talking doesn't seem to be helping me much. Sorry you had to go through all this today. Thank you. I hope you realize now how important it is for us to go ahead with it. Mason, I'm not any happier about it now than I was before, but I have agreed to it, and I'd like to just drop it, okay? Okay. Would you understand it if I said I wanted to be alone? Yeah, I suppose. Good, because I do. I want to uh, lie down and rest and do some thinking. Can I get you anything? No. You forget about lunch. Not only did I not forget, I'm early, and don't be so critical. Well, did you have a powwow with Dr. Jekyll? Yes. I met with Mark, I met with Mary, and I met with Mason. I heard everybody's side. I didn't realize there were three sides, sort of like Rashomon. Well, did you come to a decision about defending Mark? Yes. What is it? Don't make me drag it out of you. I've decided to defend him. You didn't. I just said that I did. Well, I am absolutely astonished. I cannot believe that Mary would lie about being raped. She didn't. Mark was the one who was lying. Julia, I'm getting very dizzy. Now, if you think he's guilty, how can you possibly defend him? Because I hate him for what he's done, and I'm going to make sure that he gets the worst legal advice that money can buy. When I'm through defending him, he'll be glad if he doesn't get the chair. Huh. There he is now. Talk to him about the arraignment. Julia, wait a minute. Don't worry. I'll, I'll talk to you later.